I'm going to show you how to turn on extended trading hours within TradingView. This is very important to do, and it was something I didn't know of. It was driving me absolutely crazy, and it almost prevented me from using TradingView. So you'll see right over here on the left, I have my TradingView chart set up, and on the right is my e signal. And you'll see I have my moving average lines on the chart over here, but if you look at the coloring here, you'll see the dollar amounts are completely off, right? So I'm on an intraday five minute chart on Apple here on both of them. So they're like for like. And you'll notice some of the moving average lines kind of are adding up, but you'll notice like right up here, the 50 SMA, that pink line is at 150.26 on TradingView and it's at 149.64 on eSignal. So these numbers right here should be matching up. And this is driving me absolutely insane until I figured out it's a very simple solution, right? You got to turn on extended trading hours. And I think by default, TradingView puts it at regular trading hours. Not sure why, uh, but you'll see it's very easy to do. So you can either right click on your chart, click on settings, or you can go right up here to the toggle wheel right here, click on settings, or just click on this toggle wheel. And you'll come down here to session and you'll see where it says regular trading click on extended trading hours and when i press ok you're going to see now you see how they the numbers add up so that pink uh, color right there that's the 50 sma 149.65 149.65 that gray is the 200 sma 150.49 and 150.49 so that's how simple it is to add or uh, Click on extended trading hours. Very, very important to do if you want to match up with the other provider. So not sure why that they have it set up uh, for regular trading hours to start. But again, that's how simple it is to turn it on. Very important to do. So if it was driving you nuts like it did me, that's the solution.